hey welcome back so the next uh, parameter in the playground we are looking at is uh, frequency penalty and presence penalty and again similar to the other one these are between the range 0 and 1 so if you click on frequency penalty before we actually look at it what does frequent uh, frequency penalty mean if you place a cursor on it how much to penalize new tokens based on their existing frequency in the text so far decreases the model's likelihood of repeat the same line or baptism. So if a word or if a sequence has already occurred, you want to limit its occurrence again. So that's basically what frequency penalty implies. And if you go to presence penalty, how much to penalize new tokens based on whether they appear in the text so far. So increases the model likelihood to talk about new topics. So these are the two things at the higher level you need to understand. The range of values are 0 to 1. So now let's move into here. So frequency penalty decreases the likelihood that the model will repeat the same line verbatim by punishing it. Whereas the presence penalty increases the likelihood it will talk about new topics. So if you understood that, now let's look into detail what frequency penalty is. So frequency penalty parameter controls the model tendency to repeat predictions. So reduces the probability of the word that have already been generated. So the penalty depends on how many times a word has already occurred in the prediction. So coming to presence penalty, it encourages the model to make novel predictions and the presence penalty lowers the prob probability of the word if it has already appeared in the predicted test. Unlike Frequency penalty does not depend on the frequency of which words appear in the past predictions. So if you looked at both of it, now let's move on to summary. So allow us to control the level of repetition GPT-3 allows in its response. And frequency penalty works by lowering the chances of the word being selected again, which has already been used. Presence penalty does not consider how frequency, frequently a word has been occurring or used, but it looks for if the word exists in the text or not. So that basically covers uh, our next parameter. In the next video, we will look at some more parameters and wrap this up. Thank you for joining.